What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Let's just jump right back in. Man, I don't know what happened last episode, you guys. Like, it, for some reason, when I originally uploaded last episode, uh, YouTube, like, stopped it around the 45 minute mark for some strange reason, so I had to re-upload that, so. If you guys watched last episode and didn't see the re-upload, be sure to go back and check it out, because there's like 10 more minutes of the video that YouTube didn't want me to f show you guys, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, as you guys can see, last episode, we finally got the honey slimes over here that look amazing. They look like little sort of, like, globs over here just bouncing around and stuff like that, which is awesome. Now, now, last episode, we also did a mission for Mochi Miles or whatever her name was, and we actually unlocked like a teleport to her base. So I definitely want to go over there and try and do one of those missions because I think one of them is to get like 10 Quicksilver Plorts or something like that. Where was it? Not that one. It was like 10 Quicksilver Plorts. Oh, wait, it was in the cave, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then I guess if I get 100, I'm going to get like something else. And I think you get only like $200 for 10 Quicksilver Plorts. Well, it isn't really that much, but I guess we'll see how easy or how hard that is to go over there and do. But also last episode, you guys remember we finally started to explore the Moss Blanket area over here now. This area is huge, but at the same time, I, I didn't see any Gordos last episode when we we're exploring around. Like, we went, like, pretty much everywhere, and I think the reason why we didn't see any is because you guys commented saying, hey, there is a Hunter Gordo somewhere over here. But you guys remember last episode, the Hunter Gordos can, like, camouflage themselves and, like, blend in and look basically invisible. And I guess that's what the, uh, the Gordo's doing over here. So I need to be a little bit more careful when I, like, go around this area up here at the top to try and find the Hunter Gordo. Because I got so many comments of you guys saying, yeah, you missed him. He's like right there. And it was like camouflage. So therefore, I didn't see him. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so definitely want to go back there. Maybe later on this episode. Maybe even right now, actually. You know what? What did, what did the uh, the honey slimes want again? They want fruit. Yeah, we have uh, we have their fruit tree over here. The mint tree. We're, we're growing the stuff over here. What was it called? Mint something. I forget. I guess I could read about it real quick. I don't think we ever read about the actual mint like fruit thing yeah <laughs> we did read the uh and there's the oka oka there it is right there mint mango that's what it's called yeah it's the favorite uh food of the honey slime so we already read about the honey slimes at the end of last episode but let's read about the new mint mango that we're growing here on the farms now the mint mango is perhaps the sweetest fruit ever discovered its appearance is that of a mango with a thicker syrup like juice and a bright minty aftertaste it's no wonder that honey slimes seek them out or that they have such an amazingly fresh breath all right, well, that makes sense. You know, honey slimes that produce the sweetest plorts or whatever are eating the sweetest fruits. That definitely makes sense. That's probably how they get all their sweetness, huh? On the ranch. Deposit a mint mango into the gardens. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Just teach me what I can do to, to grow mint mangoes at my farm, which we're already doing. It just takes a little time for that to kick in. Did we fully upgrade this one, though? Uh, well, I guess fully upgraded would count getting a scare slime. I don't know if we want to do that. We don't even, we only have $237 right now. What, what happened to all my money? I don't know where it went. <laughs> I spent it on something, though. Uh, but yeah, these guys don't have any food. I guess we can go get some cube berries for them. Because we do have, uh, they do eat fruit. And, you know, if they, if they can't eat the mint mangoes that aren't, oh yeah, look at this. They can't eat the mint mangoes that aren't even grown yet. Might as well get some, get them something so they can actually eat. And produce those honey plorts. Because I definitely need to get at least one honey plort to unlock that, like, ancient door that we found, like, two episodes ago or something like that, right? So, definitely feed these guys a little bit of food. Not their favorite food, but hey, something to go in their stomachs while we're uh, waiting for the mint mangoes to grow, right? So, there we go. And let's just grab one of those for the road. We're going to need that for the ancient door. And this has already started to suction up a bunch of plorts right now. Well, that's good. Up to 13. Great. All right, well, let's keep this uh, one honey plort in our inventory. I suppose we can go over to that ancient door. So, where would that be? How would I get there? Probably over here. Yeah, I think we have to go basically a lot. There isn't like a teleport over there, right? I don't think so, but I'm definitely curious to see what's behind that door. So uh, I guess we might as well grab some crops over here, too. Got a lot of carrots. Unfortunately, the, uh, the these are vegetables, not fruits. So we can't just give these to the honey slime, so they'll eat that. So that kind of sucks. But put all the odd onions and carrots and whatever else in the respective auto feeder thingy doohickey things. How are these doing? I must have harvested them relatively recently. Put up the odd onions over here so these guys could eat. And there's still a few odd onions inside there, so that's good. Yeah, I'll put a couple. Yep. There you go, a couple inside there, and now I'll put all the carrots up inside the pink slime area over here. There we go, feeding time. I see a few guys just smiling, not smiling with their mouth open, but just just regular smile. Oh, did we ever? Oh, I forgot to. Choose. I'm glad I came over here. I forgot to check up on the drills that we set like two episodes ago, or something like that. All right, sheesh. Let's get that to collect all the plorts. There we go. Unless I activate this drill. Ooh. 
a bunch of those uh, jelly stones right there. And yeah, this thing has like, what, three uses or something like that? So that's cool. So we're getting jelly stone over here. I assume that's all we're going to get at the ranch. Because I did get comments of you guys saying, oh, yep, 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 that was a one-time use one right there. Uh, I did get comments of you guys saying, yeah, definitely want to place those drill things like outside of... I put it inside of here? Yeah, jelly stone. Oh, I need hexacombs too. Okay. Uh, I definitely want to place those outside of the ranch so we actually get some other stuff. And I think one of the things that we can actually get... I guess if we get a drill and place it in the, uh, the, the moss blanket, we might get the hexacombs. That we got. I think we got those from, like, a present or something like that last episode, so... Let's see. Any more, uh... Those are pumps. Siphon underground resources. One cycle. Novice apiary. Well, if these only last one cycle, we probably need to at least get them. I doubt we could skip to the, the... to the... whatever's tier two, you know? So... Oh, we don't have enough money for that, though. I guess we'll just get the, uh, the pump over here. Which, which one is it? Advanced dr or, uh, drill. Advanced drill right there. We need two more pink plorts, which we can get, like, right now, and then we'll be able to fabricate that thing, and I guess we'll place it down in the moss blanket area, so, yep. And a few of those pink plorts right there, just go place them up inside of this thingy. Yep. There you go. Let's go make ourselves another, uh, not novice drill. See, it auto-defaults to the cheapest one. It almost made- that's what happened last time. <laughs> that's why I made that last time. Let's get a fabricator, or, uh, let's fabricate the advanced drill. Yep. There you go. Is it 3 3D printing it, or...? I don't think it is. I think it's always just in 3D printing, that's one thing. But I think it's in our end, like, it's if, we, if we hit T, we should be able to place it down, like, anywhere, right? Yep, like that. So, definitely want to go do this whenever we're, uh... How do I get out? There you go. T again. There you go. <laughs> definitely want to go place that down over in the moss blanket area. Probably near the entrance or something like that, or maybe maybe where we found the, uh, the honey slimes, or maybe even where we found that box that gives us the, uh, the hexacomb things. Might want to place it over there, and then, of course, don't want to forget about it. Definitely want to go back there and check up on it every now and then, because it is like, what, a 12-minute timer or something like that? Now, where do I go from here? So I go this way, then to top left. Okay, let's see. Can I do that? If I go here? No, that's the wrong way. I need to go this way. I don't know if I can make this jump! Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh yeah, we need to... I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to go from there to there to there. And that's how we get over to there. So, let's try and make this jump from here, or from here, actually, up to here. Should be relatively easy. We've got plenty of stamina. Perfect. And let's do another jump. Ah! Oh, there's a crate down there still. Oh, there's another... Wait, what? Where's this crate? Hey, look at that Rustro. <laughs> I don't know where that crate came from. Can I get the one that's down here, too? Ooh, I've... Oh, that was the, uh, that's another chest thing. We... You know what? Let's open it. Let's see what's inside. Boom. Oh, yeah, didn't we get, like, a tree or something like that? Minty grass patch. Though this grass does indeed have a pleasant minty aroma, the taste is quite bitter. Okay, what do we do with that? Oh, it's a blueprint. Okay, so we need to go over to the, uh... Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, look at that. More chickens right there. Hen. Stony hen. Ah, hen, hen. You know what? You could eat it. Yep. There you go. Oh, he ate it. I shoved it right up his butt and he ate it. <laughs> what? I'm getting demonetized for that. All right, let's go this way. Let's try and do the parkour the proper way. Yep. There you go. So that's cool, yeah, you just need to go over to the fabricator, or, uh, to the blueprint machine thingy. Buy... Well, that's kind of dumb, you have to find the things, and then you have to buy the blueprint. That's stupid, you think you just have the blueprint, like, straight up, because you found the thing anyways, right? But I guess not. Anyways, we gotta go this way, I'm seeing a lot of chickens spawning in over there. Oh, jeez, speaking of stuff spawning in, four, oh, four rad plorts, or four rad slimes just randomly spawning in right there out of the ground. But somewhere over here... It's gonna be the entrance to the ancient ruins or whatever, right? And then now, yep, down there is the teleport home. Oh, I did get comments from you guys saying, yeah, more advanced treasure cracker. I think blue was tier two, purple is tier three. So we need to upgrade that treasure cracker thing over time. And of course, that's gonna cost more and more money. So I'm like, right now, we only have two to $67. Hopefully, by the time we go back home here in just a bit, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna have a, you know, better port prices and all that kind of stuff, right? So where was this last one? It was. To the left, wasn't it? Yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, see, look at the honeycomb on his head. That's perfect. Boom. Let's go up to the door now. Oh my gosh, look at it glowing, pulsating. What in the world? <laughs> They're all singing. Oh, it's opening. What's behind door number one? What is this? Ancient ruins! Into the past achievement. We got phosphor. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, what is all this stuff? I thought I heard like a... Oh, it's a... Oh, uh... oh, I thought that was a skin thing, no. 
Happy slime, diet meat. Uh, I don't know if I want to. Oh, jeez, this is a. Look at that. Oh, slime's coming out of. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to explore this. It seems like a big maze, and I'll easily get lost if I'm not careful. This is rotten pogo fruit. Doesn't look like it. What's this? A hologram of a tree. That's so weird. Oh man, this place is kind of unsettling to be quite honest. Like this, this. Me oh wait, an H right here. Let's see what this says. And I guess we could read this H and then leave. I suppose, huh? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Quantum slime. Ooh, we found the quantum slimes, you guys. Wait, why? Are Oh, I was about to say, well, why is the phosphor slime also, like, quantum, like, hologram looking? Very strange. Well, we got five of them right there, you guys. Cool. Oh, what's that? Why is this red? Oh! What happened? Oh, I thought there was, I thought there was, like, a gold slime or something like that behind us. I guess I'll grab, wait, what, whoa, 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 this one's glitched. I guess I get, I'm gonna get this one. Oh, a Largo. So I wonder how good the, oh! He just disappeared. Interesting stuff. And that's like a quantum tree, I guess. Oh, here's... We saw red back there. There's blue. This must be another puzzle like we saw earlier. This one's going to disappear. Another quantum tree down there. But yeah, this has got to be another puzzle. Just like the puzzle to open up that door, right? But let's go up here. Let's go read that H thing. And let's see what it says. Fascinating, aren't they? Who do you think constructed these ancient ruins? And for what purpose? I'd visit this place and ponder that question often. Only one thing is for certain. These folks like slimes. Eventually, I came to realize what this place was for and how to utilize it. Will you do the same? H. Ooh. Very cryptic. So what is this place for and how do I utilize it? I guess we'll find out a little bit later, huh? Probably some way we have to open up this door. I'm gonna use a... Oh man, the flashlight looks crazy when you shine on this thing. So probably need to open up that door by doing some sort of puzzle and... Oh, whoa, look at that big old slime right there. And I don't know quite what the puzzle is. But we could worry about it per perhaps in, like, next episode or something. Like, hey, look at that! Maybe next episode, because I do want to go do that other thing with Moki Miles this episode. And then, of course... Oh! Sunburst tree, a tree from the mysterious ruins whose golden leaves shine like the sun. Ooh, so we can get that tree in our base. And it's kind of holographic, just like the, uh... The quantum slime. Oh, I can't go through it. It just looks very see-through. Interesting. All right, well, uh, oh, and there's like a real version of them up there? They're like pipes here. Look at these pipes before. Is there stuff flowing through them, or? I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's just the reflections or whatever, or if stuff is actually flowing. Okay, what, what happens if we hit this? Oh, it opens up that door. And it opened up that door. Okay. Oof. Not much of a puzzle, I guess, huh? You know, I don't, I don't... I Like I said, I don't want to... Oh, jeez. Okay, even more stuff over here. All right, well, there's another H over there we could read. We could read that when we come back here. Uh, maybe next episode or later this episode, depending on how long they... Oh, then I can just close... Oh, if I close... If I open up this, it closes the entrance over there. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Okay. That means I need to deactivate the the orbs that I've already hit, or else I can't leave, right? How would I do that? Is that slime juice or something? I don't know. Oh, I did get comments from you guys saying, uh, I need to, like, read the, uh, the Slimepedia about, like, a slime ocean or something like that. Okay, is this how I get? Yeah. Oh, it, it sli okay, it slides from down to up or, or up to down. Okay, that explains why it opens or closes or whatever there. Interesting stuff. Now, what happens if I do this, though? Well, obviously, they'd close that door. <laughs> Might as well just leave it open, right? Is there anything else over here, though? Oh, wait, there's an outside area, too. Oh, man, there's all of the... Whoa! Oh, now we're up here. Or I can just, just bypass all that stuff and just come up here. Oh, my God, look at them looking at me. With their big old uh, fake smiles or what? I, I don't know. Holographic smiles? I don't know. Oh, there's a pink quantum Largo. And I can't even suck them up. I can get these ones. Yeah, quantum slime. You know what? I might as well get like 10 of them if I can. Before these like disappear. There you go. Nice 10 number. Just like we have 10 pink slimes at home. 
mainly just so we could use the fabricator and fabricate things, but at least we have this open now. Very, very intriguing stuff, you guys. This is happening like two or three episodes now. We discover one thing, but we're already wanting to do another thing, and we have to leave it up until next episode. Uh, now, did this door over here open, or do I still need a slime key for it? I bet I still need that slime key, and it takes us to the moss blanket or whatever, right? Yeah, I don't think I have- yeah, I don't have a slime key right now, so that sucks. Man! Alright, well, I guess I have to go a long way around, right? Which means going... I don't know if I can- can I go from here? And then go there? I could try that, but I, I'm like, I might die! So that means going out here... And then, yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, it goes down, and then... I'm like, if I'm up on a high elevation, I might be able to... I just need to know where I'm going. Oh, jeez. I actually need, yeah, I need the stamina too. I don't have any stamina right now. So I need to wait until it regens. Then I'll be able to go back up and get rid of a couple rooster. Oh yeah, I've got a fo Why do I have a phosphor slime? What in the world? I can't make this jump. What? Oh, okay. I have to do it from this side. Over to here. And then... Oh, do I have enough stamina? Ah! I barely had enough stamina right there. Jeez. And then from here... Can I make it from, like, right here all the way? Yeah, see, there's the bridge. There's, like, where the, the, the Tabby Largo was. There's a bridge that wraps all the way around. Do I have enough stamina to make this jump? Ah, I don't know! I don't think so. I might! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! This is going to be so close. Oh, gee, oh! I thought it was going to collapse under me or something crazy there. I somehow made that jump. That was insane. Oh, what is that over there? Right there. I can't zoom in on it. There's like another area like right there. Hold on. Can I go back there? I might be able to. All right, well, let's just go in. Oh, wait, I think it's like part of the entrance or something like that, right? Been too crazy, I bet. Yeah, let's go over here. And if I go up here, this should take us to... Wait, no. Hold on, what if I go up this? Ooh, now I'm up here. Oh, here it is. This is what I saw. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, and there's a tier two treasure pod over here. Need a better treasure cracker thing. Interesting. I didn't see this from the inside. Oh, that guy's trying to give me like a big old hug over here or something like that. Or trying to kick me out of here or something. Jeez. Oh, we got a tar. Oh, man, we got like... Well, there's so many tars. Holy. Glad that I came here or else everyone's going to turn into a heckin' tar. Oop, there you go. Any more tars around here? I think... Oh, I think we're good. Someone just turned into a Largo. That means there's going to be a tar around here pretty soon. Is there anything over here? I don't know if I explore this. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a skin. Another secret skin. What's it gonna be? Arcane. Ooh. Wait, what? Is that for pink? or No, that's for boom slimes. Ooh, yeah, I remember the face that they make whenever they explode. They look like, oh, whoa, what happened? <laughs> that's the face that they make. Oh, there's an... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember, yeah, this, okay, this takes us to the ancient ruins area, right? Yeah, see, look at this. Okay, interesting. But, I'm like, that's not what we're here for. What is that growling sound? Tars? I think it is, I'm hearing the, oh, yep, they're Tars down there. I don't remember that, like, growling sound coming from Tars earlier. Oh, jeez, they're multiplying. I think we took care of them. Oh, what's down here? I don't know. Huh. All right, well, we need to be very... Oh, man, look at how cool the arcane boom slimes look. Well, either way, uh, while we're here in the, the moss blanket thing, I do... Oh, whoa! Oh, that's going to give us an ornament. Yeah. I think I said that last episode where those things give up. Whoa, look at that face! Party Gordo ornament. Hey! We got a pretty cool... Oh, and there's another box right there. Yep. Got a little bit of money. Not that much, but hey, I'll take it. Stony hand, I'll take that. Anything else here? No. A lot of presents just hidden all over the place. More tar slimes! I don't think I have that much... I'm starting to run out of water if I have to keep taking care of all these tar slimes. I might as well leave. If I leave, then these are going to stop spawning in, right? I think so. Okay, let's go. But while we're here in the moss blanket area, let's definitely go see if we can... Oh, whoa, what in the wrong? I saw like a huge something right there and it disappeared. That was very strange. Did we read this? There's an H up here. I don't know if I read it last time. Uh, man, I don't have enough stamina. I need to wait. 
All right, I got enough stamina. Let's see if I can make this jump. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I doubt I read it because... Oh, whoa. The first time I went exploring the moss blanket, I got stuck here, so I constructed a way out. It's up yonder. Ooh. Yeah, he probably made those bridges that we later found, and he left that message saying, yeah, you definitely want to have a good jetpack or whatever. Oh, yeah, see, this is how you get up to here. Interesting. And what's over here? Anything? Just some carrots and a pink plorts and... Other, uh, oh, chicken area here. Just stony hens there. Yeah, look at all this parkour we do here, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I make this? Oh, made that. Can I go up here? Oh, no, not... Oh, barely. Barely made that right. Oh, jeez, almost fell off. Now, let's try and find that, uh, that Gordo. Oh, there's a tier three, uh, treasure chest right there. I need to have a way better treasure cracker thing to get that but uh oh yeah i wanted to place down drill here too yeah i forgot about that whoops i don't want to place that where can i place it though oh yeah look at all these places i could put it okay you know what let's place it somewhat towards the entrance so it's easy to to get to you know this is where we drop down might as well put it like right here boom advanced drill install there we go noise 11 minutes until we're at well 12 minutes until we have to come back and check up on it what in the world we just dig out a tabby slime? <laughs> I think we did. So that's cool to know. We could just place those down pretty much anywhere. It doesn't need to be in the ranch or anything like that. Pretty sure we read that one. Go that way? No. That means, yeah. We need to go this way. And this is going to take us to the hunter slimes area, right? Oh, death and danger ahead. You need to watch out. Oh, yeah. I, I also got some comments of you guys saying, yeah, these hunter slime things are like feral or whatever. And you need to feed them in order for them to be happy. Or, you know, not feral or something like that, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Need to, oh, I forgot to put that in my egg notes, I'll tell you that much. Open up a crate thing over here. I don't know what they eat, though. So I should probably uh, take a look at what they eat. I'm like, I've got chickens. I don't have any fruit. I don't have any vegetables. I just have, literally just have chickens. And an ornament. <laughs> I don't know if any of those want to eat ornaments, right? Was it this way? Yeah, this way, yeah. We go this way, make sure we have enough stamina because I'm almost out. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, that was risky. That was way too risky. So there's going to be hunter plorts and stuff like that over here. So I guess we can get rid of a roostro. Yep, there you go. And a stony hen. I did get comments of you guys saying to get the hunter slime uh, plorts. So I could either get them or their plorts if I can hopefully find them. And then somewhere. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, that one spawned in as a Largo. Huh, very strange. And it's very hard to try and see the... Where are the smaller ones at? I don't know, but I'm, I'm dying here. I need to find their plorts. Or find the normal sized ones. Are these the normal sized ones? Yes, yeah, it's Honey Hunter Largo, so... Fruit and meat. That means, yeah, I, I can give them chickens. And they'll give me the plort then, so... Maybe I should go back and get the chickens. <laughs> so, yeah, the fruit part of that, uh... Is covered by the honey slime. Meat part by the hunter, which makes sense. You know, hunter, meat. So where do the chickens go? I hear them bok bok bagaking. Yeah, I'm not seeing the chickens, though. Man, I thought they spawned up here for some strange reason, but I don't see them. Hmm. Either way, might, might want to keep our eye out for the Gordo, though. I don't think this was the area you guys were talking about. It was somewhere else, like, basically towards the end of this. If I remember correctly, so. There may still be chickens that spawn. Oh, is that a plort? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plorts, perfect. Honey and hunter plorts. We got them, you guys. Perfect. Oh, they're chickens. Hold on, we don't need honey plorts. Oh, whoops. Forgive this guy. Oh, jeez. Give him the hen hens. They'll eat that and drop the plorts. Give me the plorts. Oh, got it. I got the honey plort, too. I don't need that. But Oh, oh almost fell down and died. Holy heck. Go this way. There we go. I think it was over here. Yep, there, look at that. Look at how hidden he is. On the mushroom, and then you get near him and he, he unhides. I guess we can give him a uh, bunch of chickens, huh? If that's the case, oh, another uh, port right there. God, get out of the way. They just eat the, oh, they're going to turn into a, oh, those are boom. Boom hunters? Oh, that's got to be crazy there, you guys. But that's good that we found the, uh, the hunter one here, the hunter Gordo. There he is. I can't go up, how do you get up there? Probably don't, oh jeez, probably don't go up there. Probably just go down here and then throw him at him and then that'll, that'll be that, huh? But yeah, you definitely see his eyes and his mouth and maybe a little bit of an outline of him too. Yep, I knew I knew they were going to be like in, uh, tar spawning here with these guys. This mixture of boom and, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is 
is that? Is that? Oh, it's a boom hunter lock. I, I was about to say that looks completely different. But yeah, I forgot it turns like black and white after it explodes like that. Yep. Go this way. Oh yeah, the chickens here. I guess I can grab these chickens, get a little bit of a head start. I don't know if briar hens. Uh, I know they're the favorite food of the boom slime. I don't know about the hunter gore or a hunter slime. I don't know what their favorite is. But I can give them the, uh, let's see. Man, take damage, but I just want to, let's go see if I can go from here. And then jump over to him. Hopefully I can. No, I got stuck. Oh, give him a chicken. I gave him a chicken. I think I gave him two right there. For briar hands, that is. Let's see if we can do another one. Yeah, see, so like, stars and stuff come out. Okay, so that's three right there. Cool. Now, do we have that in our Slimepedia? For the Hunter Slime. Oh, we got Quantum Slime. Probably need to capture one, actually. Yeah, because it goes, like, right here. I bet that's where it is, huh? Yeah, I'm not seeing it at all. Interesting. So I need to get an actual, just a regular one. And I don't know how to get that. Because they're always... Lar they literally spawn out of the ground as Largos. Those are boom Largo ones over there. Was that a regular one there? No, that's a, yeah, see that's a Largo. Pretty sure that's a Largo. Yeah, boom hunter Largo right there. The hunt, hunt, or a uh, honey fort right there. Huh. Yeah, it's very tough. So I have to actually get a regular one, and I don't know how to get that. They're not down there, unless those are camouflage. Yeah, those are way too big. Man. I guess if anything, I could... Could I feed them? And then, I don't know. I guess if anything, that guy's going to explode and then I'll be able to get, you know what? Yeah. Chickens that spawn over here, I guess we can continue to get them. Just farm the chickens. Yep. So we make this jump. There we go. Holy heck. Any more chickens going to spawn here? Nope, no, nope, no nope, chickens there, man. But yeah, it just collect a bunch of chickens, come back here, give them to the, the hunter Gordo. Oh, I think more chickens spawn over here, right? Or at least hopefully they can. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing, like, literally nothing. Oh, phosphor slimes. Yeah, see, like, right here is where we found that box. Oh, there's another box. Oh, yeah, see, look at another ornament. I guess I'll grab it. What was that one? Just a regular old pink ornament. Okay. And then down there, yeah, chickens spawn down there. Yeah, we and more chickens over there. We definitely come back here. Oh, another phosphor uh, guy right there. And nothing crazy there. Just a tappy slime, a couple carrots. But yeah, definitely want to come over here, grab, grab the chickens, and... All that, like any, I guess any type of chicken. I, I, I like, I don't know how, which chicken is the preferred chicken of the hunter Gordo, like I said. So I guess we'll just get like 50 of any type of chicken and now we're out of there. So there you go. Drop off the ornaments, drop off the hunter plorts over here and get some Largos going, I guess, huh? You know what? Maybe I'll put them in a different area than the honey, or uh, yeah, the honey ones there. Maybe I'll put them like right here then. Hmm. Well, either way, we have a call right there. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Because I did want to go do the Moki Miles thing. At least see what that's about. Party one. There you go. Can't even really see it. And there's another one right there. Cool. Look at all the ornaments we have. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, we have... You know what? Let's put the quantum ones here. Uh, eat of activate. Let's get the higher walls. Ah, oh, we don't have the money. All right. Place the quantum slimes here. Boom. Now, I don't know if they can even survive. Uh, like, here specifically. Hold on. You know what? You know what? I might as well read. Let's read about them. I was about to say, like, do I need the sky thing for them? I don't know. There you go. Because we did see them disappear and stuff like that. I wouldn't be surprised if during the daytime with sunlight shining down on them, if they just, like, disappeared or whatever, right? Oh, my gosh. Look at all this. Holy. Man, this is insane. Oh, yeah. You know what? I did get some comments from you guys saying that. I, oh, my gosh. I already got 50 right there. I did get some comments from you guys I need to, saying I need to buy a... Uh, oh, this is going to be full now. So I need to get the uh, the fourth upgrade for my silo over there, and then we could use that to store, like, extra fruit and vegetables, and, uh... We can't put chickens in there, so not meat, <laughs> but just fruit and vegetables and all that. I guess we could do that, but I'm like, right now, I'm kind of storing all my extra, uh, like, beet fruits. Well, at the same time, we just hit the limit on the auto feeder thing there, so where am I going to store these other extra, uh, heartbeat? <laughs> beet fruit. <laughs> where am I going to store the extra heartbeats right here? I don't know. These guys eat, uh, yeah, they eat meat, or, uh fruit. These guys eat vegetable. Oh, I guess I can give them them some heartbeats. Yeah, because we have so many of them, right? So there you go. Boom. And yeah, yeah we don't have any Oka Okas for them. We might have some if I go over here and check up on the farm. Definitely want to go do the Moki Miles thing, at least here in just a sec, though, so we don't run out of any time. 
And I guess, yeah, let's go check up on the market too, because it's about to reset here. We can see how much hunter ports go for. Decide, oh my gosh, look at that, already four right there. We can decide uh, whether or not we want to make a Largo with them and the honey slimes, or maybe the uh, the radiation slimes over here, or something like that, I don't know. There you go, get a bunch of Oka Okas up in storage there, boom. And I guess all the extra ones, we just give to them straight up. Just because, I'm like, where else are we going to put all those, right? <laughs> Let's go up here, grab all the Oka Oka things, and we ain't... Yeah, I think we even have, uh... Those are, yeah, odd onions. Those are all done as well, so I guess we can go check on them here in just a sec. Yep, there you go, one more done. And we don't have room for... Ah, oh, yeah, let's get rid of the carrots. I just want to pick up the odd onions right now. And then we can drop off the odd onions in the auto feeder for the boom slimes and crystal slimes. And then we could use that empty slot to get all the carrots here in just a sec. But holy heck, this is an absolute mess! Look at this mess I'm making! Yep, there you go. Still some odd onions over here that didn't get sucked up right there. There you go, 29 of them. Holy, what in the world? This thing's like feeding them super fast. I just gave them a bunch of odd onions. And that's already done. Jeez. Oh yeah, we need to go check them on the drill thing over there. It's probably just going to give us uh, more slime, or uh, what is it called? Like, slime rocks or something? Slime? I forgot what it was. <laughs> but we need to go check them on the one that's over there that has uh, three uses, the advanced one. We need to go check them on that one. Uh, that way, you know, you just get whatever it has and of course start its like third cycle or whatever, right? So uh, then hopefully by the end of the episode, we can go back to the boss blanket. Go check them on how that's doing. Uh, the drill that we put over there, go check about how that one's doing. And hopefully it's doing pretty well. Let's just get the Oka Oka things. Keep throwing those inside there, and I guess we can throw some carrots inside there as well. Because we have so many radiation slimes in here, it's insane. Look at all of them. They're producing so many plorts. Look at that guy! He's freaking out with his mouth wide open and everything. Wide open for all those carrots. Suction all that up. A hundred right there. Start up on the section. Oh, I, I guess it can't uh, use both of these at the same time, can it? I guess one of them's for one specific port, and the other one's for a different one. Ooh, so you can't just have this hold up the 200 ports at once, I guess, huh? That kind of sucks. 164, man, we're going to hit that. I think it's 300, like it's around the halfway mark right now. It's, it's around the two-thirds mark right now, so I think these can only hold 300 at a time. So let's grab all the ports over here and go put them up in storage and see if we can fill that thing out completely. And there's 27 left. I don't think we're going to hit the 300 limit here in just a sec. 27 right there, I don't know. Are they going to continue eating? Oh, yep, produced a couple more ports. One, I think there might be one more. Nah, I guess not, but we have 28 right now. Is it going to hit the 300? Nah, it's not. Man, it's going to get close, though. But yeah, definitely maxes out at 300, though. 292 right there, nice. And then, uh, oh yeah, over here we have the, yeah, I guess we could put up the hunter plorts over here somewhere. This is full. This is where we keep the honey thing, so hopefully we're going to get those here in just a bit, but definitely, yeah, we definitely want to read about the quantum slime and all that kind of stuff. Where's the... Oh, we got a star mail from Casey. Again, I think we have two of those. We need to read that. So where is this? I don't see where the hunter slime or uh, the hunter port is on this. Is it that? I think it is. Yeah, the, it's got the line going through it. Yeah, so it's, got, it's 83 for the hunter port. Ooh. Now those are the honey ones right there at eight at 79, so that's a good number right there. That's good. Hmm. Both very valuable. If we put them both together, we'll get a lot of money. Where's the quantum one at on this? I don't think they do they even drop ports? I don't know. I don't know if there are any quick oh, that's probably the Quicksilver one there. That's probably for another guy. That's probably for uh, Ogden Ortiz and these other ones over here are probably for the other ranchers and stuff like that, so yeah. I don't know. Where should we put the coin? Yeah, let's, let's just read about them. Let's just figure out what they like. See if they could even be in the sun, or do we need the sun shield thing for them? I don't know. Let's just find out here in just a sec. So, go to Quantum Slime. There you go. Phase Lemon. What? At least it eats fruit, so hey, we don't have any Phase Lemons right now. We could probably find them over in the, uh, the ancient ruins or whatever, right? Just gotta go over to the trees, I'm sure. The little holographic trees. Maybe those drop uh, the, the Phase Lemon things, perhaps? I don't know. Need to pay attention to those. Uh, but I guess we could read about the slimeology of these guys real quick and learn more about them. Slimeology. Quantum slimes appear to have resulted from some sort of event that took place in the ancient ruins long ago. At all times, the quantum slime is capable of emitting other possible realities of their being, called ghosts. These other realities can come true, with the quantum slime aligning with the reality of the ghost, effectively teleporting. Ooh. I can only imagine what their plorts can be used for. If these guys can teleport, holy heck. Probably some really good, like, space travel stuff or something crazy. Rancher risks. 
Quantum Slimes can be one of the most difficult slimes to manage given their unique abilities. A rancher needs to learn to detect when the Quantum Slimes are primed to take over the reality of a ghost and act quickly, such as feeding them or just splashing them with some fresh water as a temporary measure. Interesting. So when they were about... Like, like about the teleport, I guess you could say? When I couldn't even pick them up or anything like that, I guess we just had to splash them with water and then boom, we're good. I wonder if there's a, an auto splash machine or something like that. <laughs> that we can keep these guys inside of just to make sure they don't, uh, you know, they're always like uh, splashed, I guess you could say. <laughs> Let's see, uh, fresh water is a temporary measure, yeah. Read all that. What, what about the Plortonomics? This is probably going to be really interesting here. It doesn't sound like they need to be like under a sky shield thing though, so that's good. Quantum plorts are believed by many to hold the secret to infinite resources. Ooh! Given the Quantum Slime's ability to change reality, it's theorized that unlocking the potential of Quantum plorts could allow for a technology that converges the realities of other entities into our reality, and, well, basically we're talking about cloning stuff. Infinite energy, chickens, whatever. Probably no harmful side effects to this at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's no harmful side effects at all to getting infinite chickens, right? <laughs> no infinite, no, like, chicken takeover and worshipping chickens that are overlords or anything like that ten years in the future. But anyways, <laughs> so I guess we could place these guys down, just want to put them somewhere where we can constantly splash them with water if they ever need it, right? So, probably makes sense. I was about to say, like, over there where we have the ponds and stuff like that, but at the same time, I don't really go over here very often. Oh, look at the puddle. Yeah, the puddle plort. He, he produced some uh, some things over here, so there you go. Got him. And yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to be free. You know what? Yeah, we need to come over here, get all the chickens that constantly spawn in, just like we did with, for the uh, the Tabby Gordo. Get a bunch of chickens, hen hen. Oh, they all just produced plorts like right when I came over here. And again, look at that. It's like they're all saving up their plorts for me. So they don't despawn and I can actually get them. That's so cool. So we have 11 right there. They're all huddling around the ducky. <laughs> I need to get them some more duckies and I can put like 10 of them in there, I'm sure, right? I don't know if it stacks up though, but I guess we can myth bust that here in the future. Uh, we are starting to run out of time for the episode though. And I did say I wanted to at least try out some of the Mokey Miles, uh, like Quant, or not Quantum Slime, but uh, what was it called? Quicksilver Slime, or like Quicksilver Ports or something like that. So I guess we can go over to her base here in just a sec. Uh, at least we can still keep, oh, whoa, look at all the mangoes over here. The mint mangoes are all done, you guys, that's good. Let's grab all of them, go give them all to the honey slimes over there. Oh my gosh, I'm going around out of it. Inventory, yep, I'm out of inventory space already, jeez, that's insane. So. Put all these inside. Oh, whoops, there was a puddle plort. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't even think it'll work with these guys, right? Like, if I, if I, if they ate the puddle plort, I don't think you could make a, uh, Largo with them, right? Uh, but Mint Mangoes, put that over here. There we go. <laughs> Need to look at my hotbar and see which one is selected there next time, right? But I guess we can give them a couple. Because we've got a few inside there. I forget how many we, oh yeah, we have one in our inventory, too. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go get all the straggler Mint Mangoes over here and go give them to them as well. There we go, perfect. And we have 10 of them, cool. So let's go put them up in storage as well as give them to a couple more of these guys if they're hungry, which I think they might be. Just looking at them. I don't think they're all like smiling super hard poor, so it should be fine. And we got a lot of ports right there, cool. All right, let's 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 put that down to slow because we don't have that many inside there, so we don't need to put out all the mint mangoes like right now, all right? Let's go put up all the puddle plorts and I guess we'll go over to uh, that way. Yep, that should take us to the Moki Miles. Like, like, base or whatever you'd want to call that, where we could do the uh, Quicksilver Slime stuff just real quick. Before we run out of time here and it becomes another 55-minute episode that YouTube thinks is like a 45-minute episode for some reason. <laughs> so let's go over here. Look at the, oh, man, the odd onions teleport, or, uh, grow fast. Even the Oka Oka things, jeez. So that's why I need to get that drone thing, so it does all this stuff for me. Let's go over here. Oh, yep, I already switched over to the other thing. So we need 10 of those and we get $200. Let's at least do that. We didn't even try this out last episode. Let's just see. Oh! Welcome to the Nimble Valley. Now start the generator and get those Quicksilver Slimes moving. All right. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Oh, a minute. Oh! Hold on. Yep. Now find some charge stations to collect electrical charges for your... Oh! Charge station here. What is this? Oh, Spark Shot. Ooh! Spark Shot acquired. Feed a... Feed spark shots to the quick so oh my god look at how fast they are oh here we go Plor oh interesting interesting stuff ports out of them perfect got them keep going keep going keep going 
Oh my gosh, this is like a race. Hold on. There you go. Got another charge right there. Cool. Another plor. Oh, gee. What in the... Oh, get him, get him. Oh, you know what? Yeah, they're, they're heading towards me here. This, this is a good strategy here. If they're heading towards me like this, I can just stand still, not even chase them. And their plorts are all like right here and grab them all. Blip, blip. Hopefully I can still grab them here in just a sec, but we are up to 16. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, got a couple right there. Oh, I'm taking damage, I'm taking damage. Need to watch out. I don't know how much time we have left, but we have a lot of smart shots still, so that's good. Let's get them all in the distance. Got him, got him, got him. Two more. Oh my gosh, you guys. No! Oh, you have to pick him up like really fast or else they'll like disappear. Oh, get that port, get that port. Perfect. Get the port, get the port, get the port. No, those disappeared. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, this was definitely not what I was anticipating. Oh, come on. Oh, I aimed a little bit too. Oh, I still got a couple right there. Cool. Look at all these plorts. Look at all of them. No! Did we run out? Oh, we ran out of charge. What, what is the timer at right now? I don't know. Was I? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go up here. Go up here. Yes. Awesome. What is this? Does that make my charge uh, more dangerous or something like that? I think that takes us out of here, huh? So what was the timer all about then? I don't know. It said, like, it said we had only a minute or something like that, right? Pretty sure over a minute has passed by now. There we get all these. There you go. Oh no! Well they oh were they facing the wrong Do I have to go back now? I think I do. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. 45 quicksilver things right there. Not bad. Where is the beginning of this at? I have no idea. <laughs> Probably should have just continued on around here. Yeah, my strategy of just standing still and letting them come to me seemed to work out pretty well, but now I don't know where to go. <laughs> Uh, where do, where are you, Moki Miles? Or your hologram or whatever? Oh, is it up here? Okay, yeah, this takes us back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Yeah, this is where I hit the button and everything, too. Yeah. There we go. We have 45 Quicksilver plorts. Guess we'll get a little bit of money out of it, so, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, we only need 10. We got way more than we needed. Boom, $200. Boom, another 200 Boom, another 200 And now we're at 45 out of 150 We could get that. Maybe next episode if we just do it one more time, you guys. Holy heck. That's a great way to get some quick money, you guys. Holy. Do I really need to repeat myself? Take the teleporter? Okay. Okay, this is if you... I guess if I forgot everything that we literally read like last episode or something like that, right? But that's cool. I'm glad that we did that. Tested it out. See what it was all about. And boom. Now we got our quantum slimes back. Cool. All right. Well... Definitely want to do that again next episode so we can actually... Oh man, all these things just finished right here. <laughs> Definitely want to do that again next episode so we can get up to that 150 or something like that of the uh, the quantum ports that she wants. And then I guess maybe next episode, maybe we could actually chase them around or something, something like that instead of just standing still and uh, facing the wrong direction like we did right there. Maybe we could have a little bit more fun if we actually do chase them around right there because they were really fast little guys just running around zipping all over the place there. It's crazy. Let's get a couple inside of here. There you go. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the new skin for them. So yeah, it looks really, really cool. There's some carrots in there too. Sure, why not? There you go. And how are these guys doing? Oh, they're kind of miserable. Let's go get some uh, Q-berries over here. If I want to give them some Q-berries. Thought they had a lot of Q-berries inside of their thing, but I guess not, huh? I can see a lot of them with their drooling open mouths and stuff. There, we go. put a couple inside there and then... There we go. It's feeding time. Boom. Awesome. So hopefully that's going to be good for them here. And I'll probably have to take care of them here again off camera, but... Right now, we do have another, uh, I forgot to do it earlier when I even mentioned it. Let's go check up on the drill that's over here, because I'm pretty sure it's got to be done by now. Yep, it's dancing, letting us know it's ready. Yeah, it's just, oh wait, whoa, it's more stuff. So we got the jelly stones again, but we got another thing right there. What is that? Slime fossil, whoa, if history could smile, it would look like this. Look at that little slime. Oh, that is so cute. Now, do I use slime fossils? Four, yes, I do. Okay, I guess I put them over here. I guess I guess you use everything you come get out of the ground. You use inside of the fabricator and this thingy do hickey thing. Oh yeah, we never opened up this. Boom. Let's see what's inside of this. Oh whoa! It's actually giving us stuff instead of like deep brine. Oh, and honeycomb things. Oh, and a uh, strange diamond. Salt of the earth kind of stuff. Whoa. Hold on, what about that? Uh, put it down. Ah, uh, hex, I guess I'll put, get the hex, I'll put that up. Now, do I put those, all those in here? Deep brine, yes. So I guess I'll put those inside of here. Then, uh, hexacombs. There you go. And what about that diamond thing? 
I don't know what to do with that. Put that deep brine inside there. Definitely want to read about that next episode, you guys. And what about that, like, diamond port looking thing? It's not here, so I think I'm going to put it up in actual storage. Strange diamond. Very strange, but even more valuable. Whoa! Oh, that's, uh... That's on the market, isn't it? That's the one that has, like, the colors that are, like, all reflective and all that kind of stuff, I think. Is that this? Is that the 110 one? No. It's not, it's not, like, unlocked right there. So, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I put it inside there, or like, how much I'm going to get. Uh, or maybe you always get, like, a set amount or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll read the, where would I, resources, I guess? Deep brine, yeah, that's here. Strange diamond, here it is. Slime science material. Okay, so we can use it in that thing over there. Not favored by slime, not slime, or not slime food. Strange diamonds are rare resources obtained with a drill. Even in the dark, these diamonds seem to shine as if light is passing through them. Strange diamonds are highly valued for their use in a variety of warp tech processes. Being almost impossibly dense and intricate in their composition, a strange diamond can reflect light within itself so profoundly that it actually bends time. What? So I can like look in the future or maybe in the past or something like that if I look inside of the strange diamond? Deposit strange diamonds into the lab's refinery where they can be used for fabricating slime science gadgets. Okay. So if I tried to sell over here, I, I won't get anything. I, it won't even work or anything like that, I guess. So uh, I guess we go put it up inside the refinery and then boom, we're good to go. I just didn't see a slot for it over there. So it didn't seem like uh, we, we could use it over there, but I guess we can. So I guess we'll put it over here and let's see. I might have just glossed over it. Oh yeah, there it is down there now. I don't know why it wasn't showing up earlier, but I uh, feel like I'm going to regret this, but oh, there you go. Put the strange diamond up inside there, so there you go. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Oh my gosh, I'm giving these guys carrots a little bit too fast. Oh man, if you if you suction up a, a rotten carrot like that, you don't even get anything. It just disappears. That's probably why they're not eating them. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess we could end off this episode right here because it's already near the 50 minute mark. And I might as well end it off before it hits like the actual 50 minute mark and then 55 minute mark and all that kind of stuff. Nine minutes till that's done. But like I said, let me just end this episode off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. So YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Rancher comes out so you never miss one. Because next time we come back, like I said, I want to go back to the Moki Miles like ranch or whatever over there. Do more of that Quicksilver port stuff. <laughs> Do more of that. Try and get more of the Quicksilvers. Like, like see what we get whenever we hit 150. Like, what is that little Moki Miles like icon? Like, like, is that just going to be earning her trust? Are we going to get something special whenever that happens? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait until next episode to find out. And then also next episode, going to explore a little bit more in that, like, ancient ruins area. Where was it? Up here. Oh, it didn't even, like, uncut. I guess the whole area is ancient ruins, huh? I guess, if I had to guess, we only got up to, like, maybe, like, right up here or something like that. Like, maybe up here. And that's it. Kind of want to go off to the edge and see if I like, go over here, though. wonder if we could actually do that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to explore more of the ancient ruins next episode, do the Moki Miles stuff this next episode. But until then, need to end off this episode first. So thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there. Oh.